One of the best practice starting points when it comes to security for your Microsoft 365 environment is to ensure that the unified audit log is enabled. Now the unified audit log is basically the event log for your cloud environment. Now if this is not turned on, events aren't captured and you'll be prevented from being able to query uh, for any issues or any hunting that you may want to do down the track. Now to enable the unified audit log, what we need to do is go into the compliance settings. So firstly, go to your main menu, log in as an administrator with the appropriate rights. You'll see the option here on the menu to select compliance. Select that, that will open the environment here, which you can also navigate to directly using compliance.microsoft.com. Under the solutions here, you'll notice that there is an audit option, select that, and in this case, this tenant has it enabled because we can go in here, for example, and we can uh, enter our user details. We can also uh, modify the dates, the times, select folders, and also uh, select any actions in here. And then when we run a query, you'll see that we get back a set of results from that. Now, from there, we can drill into any one of these individual queries, get more information about. So this is very handy if we do have to track down issues or troubleshoot um, security challenges. Now, conversely, if we look at a tenant where this is not enabled, so again, compliance.microsoft.com, look at the audit option under solutions, you'll see that I get a blue banner here that says start recording user and activity. Uh, what that's telling me is that the unified audit logging is not enabled, so none of the activity is being captured, and therefore I can't query it. None of these fields can be selected or used to actually go and uh, do a search, as you note here. So if there is an incident or there is something we need to check in the security, it's going to be very difficult to achieve that because we don't have this capability enabled. Now, all you need to do to enable this is simply select the blue banner across the top and it will start recording uh, all the events from that point forward. So it is not retrospective, it'll only start from the point that you select moving forward and then you'll be able to go in and do any queries uh, that you need to. And the big benefit as mentioned is that once you start accumulating these events, you'll be able to use those to better troubleshoot uh, your environment. Now remember there is no uh, performance issue or additional cost to enabling these audit logs and also remember that you should check any existing tenants that you have and new tenants that you spin up because this logging capability may not be enabled by default. So go in, go to the Compliance Center as mentioned, compliance.microsoft.com, go into Audit under Solutions and make sure that you uh, don't see a blue banner with the text that's displayed here and also verify that you can go in and do a query based on users and activities. If you can, then your audit logging uh, is enabled, capturing events from your environment, and that's gonna be very handy, like I said, to be able to do troubleshooting down the track if needed. With that, thank you very much for watching this video.